It's Christmas! Guys, Christmas is in two days. So, get excited. <laughs> hey. Sorry. I said excited, not dying. Dragon. Are we gonna be able to film today? <laughs> why don't or... you just do this? Are we gonna I'm, be able to film? I told you I wasn't feeling good when we started. Like, so, why don't you just do, do so... this? Just do this. Christmas is in two days. Super excited about that. I bought my kid like 100 million things because this is our first Christmas that she's gonna understand what's going on. She's super spoiled. I'm a notoriously terrible gift giver. <laughs> me too. Uh, yeah, just not good at it. Like, it Is that an adopted me... thing? Maybe. Oh, God. I don't know. Other adoptees, are you any good at gifts? I have a hard time with gifts. In honor of Christmas, we're going to spend some time today talking about how adoptees react during these special holidays, during birthdays, during special events, and we're going to talk about the movie Elf. Because who doesn't love the movie Elf? <sighs> yeah, so adoptees around the holidays. Yeah. How about, how was your holidays experience? Honestly, mine was great. <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> you know, my parents did a, an amazing job making me feel special during the holiday, mm -hmm. but not over the top where the point is like, you know, like they're overcompensating for something. Hmm. You know, because looking back on it now, I could figure out if my parents were overcompensating for things. And, and, and there were some times, but mostly it was, you know, whenever I was either being a brat about things or... You know, just going through my emo phase, just like half my high school career. There's some pictures of that. I there think. is, but we're not going to show any of them. My parents, you know, like I said, they, they were great about holidays. You know, they weren't overly pushy about things. If, if I wanted to know stuff, they were open to talk about it. And if I just didn't seem to care, they didn't push the agenda on me. And so holidays and birthdays and things like that were, were awesome for me. But I know for a lot of people, it's not... It's just not awesome. You know, they, they have a hard time during those uh, moments, during those seasons. They get very introspective and they honestly, some of them get really depressed. They get to this dark place of asking questions like, why wasn't I wanted? Why was I given up? Who is my real parents? It's mostly the mom because, you know, who cares about the dad? <laughs> Usually. We talked about that in a previous video up there. Go check it out. Buddy the Elf does. It might be there. But well, what about you? Holidays, birthdays, things like that growing up? Uh, holidays were always pretty pretty standard and pretty normal. I don't remember having any real ho problems with, with holidays necessarily. I think birthdays probably were more of a, more of a, a, a trigger. Hashtag triggered. Uh, were, were more of a thing that would trigger a response in me. Like there's that side of being an adoptee where um, I know a lot of us hate surprises, right? Like hate I hate surprises. I can't stand surprises. Having even something as basic as a schedule change, like it throws me off, and I hate it. It's mm -hmm. the worst. Um, uh, but I'm not a big fan of surprises, and so like I, I remember I had a surprise party for one birthday, but I actually found out about it weeks beforehand. Mm -hmm. I knew it was going to be a surprise. It was super obvious. My dad took me out for a thing and then we came back. <laughs> there was all these cars in front of the house or whatever. So like I was able to play that off, which was nice. But if that had been an actual surprise party, I would have probably hated it. Um, Just I'm walked out. Y y like, what do you know? You know, um, uh, I'm surprised. Sometimes I'm surprised that I'm not a, a gift peeker. Are you a peeker? Oh, I peek? so was. Oh my gosh. Whenever I was a kid, mom, dad, if you're watching this, just skip this part right here. Just go go past <laughs> it. But I remember, like, you know, I used to find out where my parents hid the gifts. You know, I used to be really good at peeking in. Like, if, even if it was wrapped and under the tree, I could get into it and look at it without, like, ruining the structure of the wrapping paper <laughs> or anything. That's like, I could put it, like, right back, and yeah. nobody knew that I touched it at all. You can so continue a, watching now, Mom and Dad. So you're a peeker. And I think a lot of the times that has to do with, like, just this need to know. Like, oh, I need to know. Oh, so much need to know. Uh, everything. And, and surprisingly, that's actually not one of my quirks. I don't, uh, mm, I, don't I need really to have know that. everything. Um, at least as far as gift giving is concerned. But, uh, yeah, I don't remember having, having as many issues around holidays as a kid. More, uh, honestly, more now, but I think that just has to do with me getting older and... Uh, life has happened, you know, and so there's, there's more definitely life. more that I get more introspective about today than I, than I did as a kid. Mm -hmm. um, no, for sure. Uh, but I don't really think that any of that is as incidental to adoption as um, just getting just, older. You know, I'm in my 30s now and we've we've had some things, yep. you know.
So we'll elaborate on that maybe at some point. I don't know, what do you think? There, there are adoptees out there. There are foster and orphan and everybody out there. During this holiday season, during Christmas and birthdays and things like that, they, they don't enjoy it mm -hmm. because they're, they're too focused on what either could have been or what has happened. Sure. Yeah, I think that's right. I mean, we've, we've both known people that have, that have kind of broken down during this period because oh, yeah. of, of what's not, right? Like, there's so much of, as much as we like the, the, uh, the specialness that comes along with being individuals and being unique, like, there's so much of, of most people, and, and this includes us, that, that says that we want to, like, I just want to be normal. Why can't right. I just have a normal Christmas? Yep. You know, and uh, like I see all these kids with their parents or, you know, doing these things and they're having a normal Christmas because they look like everybody. Uh, and, uh, you know, for me, uh, I, I never really, it never really bothered me, but there was a conscious looking at like my whole family got together uh, on both sides for, for Christmas. And mm. I'm clearly the only Asian person, <laughs> you know, uh, among uh, 20 or everybody. 30 you know, of my relatives. Yeah. And that's, it's just not anything that anybody ever talked about, but it was, you know, like, this is a reminder that I'm not normal. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of this just like, you know, it's not, what, why can't I just have, why can't I just be, you know, like everybody else? Yeah. Now, in retrospect, I kind of like not being like everybody else. Me too. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I will say this, to those out there that are feeling that way, they are feeling depressed around the holidays because it, you're focused on, and, and let's be, you know, let's be open about this. It, you have a right, you know, you, to, to kind of feel this way. Um, when you get stuck in that, that's when it kind of becomes a problem though. That's when people have a hard time moving on with the rest of their life and they can't focus on the present. They can't focus on the future because they're too busy focused on what already, what's already happened. But if that's you, talk to somebody about it. If you need somebody to talk to, reach out to us. We'd love to have a conversation with you. We'll Skype or, you know, play video games and talk about adoption problems. Because I'm pretty sure that would be the best way to have conversations ever. <laughs> From now on, we're doing all of our adoption meetings over Overwatch. Also, there are people out there that love you. So go find them too. Because it's not us. Is that what <laughs> <laughs> We do love people, but I don't know you. There's, there's, I don't know you on a personal level. I'm sure that you're a very lovable person. I don't know about that. I'm, you know. Because if it's me watching this later, it's not. Hmm. Uh. So anyways, we're going to end it on this. The movie Elf. The, one of the most highly acclaimed Christmas movies of all time now. And it's funny because it just came out. Like, Well, I mean, it was... a like 10 years ago or something like that now. 2000, but. like 2003 or 7 oh, really? or Okay, let's, Google. Let's start over again. When did the movie Elf come out? 7th, 2003. Boom. I got that. Man, I'm so old. I got that. So old. All right, well, I was going to say, you know, for a recent movie, it just like really jumped up there. It's, it's not, not that like, recent anymore. It's not like a classic, though. <laughs> like, it's not like It's a Wonderful Life with, it's a wonderful life with Jimmy Stewart. Right. right. Like, it's, not, it's not one of those Or, Christmas you know, the, you'll or, shoot your eye out. Christmas story. Yeah. Which I've never actually seen all the way through. Me neither. It, I mean, it does have that one racist I never scene. watched it. It does? Yeah. Where they go to the they go to a Chinese restaurant for Christmas. What? For Christmas Day. Have oh, you I never seen that? that? No, amazing. I need to watch that now. I'm gonna watch this real quick. Stand by. <laughs> what is this? What? This is one of the most popular Christmas movies that's been ever made. What is going on right Christmas now? Christmas story. I've never seen that. I am highly offended. I can't now. believe you've never seen that. <laughs> it's accent. actually it's a it's a neurological. Um, uh, it's not even a speech impediment. It's just that that uh, the uh, the Chinese mind because their the way the language is structured, they're never raised they to recognize uh, the 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 speech sound between L and R, and so that part of the brain that we recognize as l never develops in that same way in somebody that's raised in Chinese, and so it develops as er. Listen, I need you to stop putting science to my racist oh, thoughts. okay, okay, hang on, hang on. Yeah, that's super offensive. Yeah, what the heck? Just... Whoa. Christmas movies around the holidays. Movies in general, 
have a lot of adoption issues that show up in them. So much. And I didn't ever realize this until we started making these videos. Right. Like, but I've watched so many <laughs> movies and they're always like, so, so-and-so is adopted or such a thing as adopted. Yep. Or like, uh, yeah, I mean, so we were watching Elf, <laughs> right? Yep. And here's my, my only issue with Elf as far as um, adoption issues are concerned is the, the inaccuracy behind Mr. Narwhal. Sure. He goes up and he says, bye buddy, hope you find your dad. And... Very few adoptees I know are actually looking for their dad. Yeah. Nobody cares about your dad. It's the birth mother. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your mom. But he already knew what happened to his mom, so. Yeah, what happened to his mom? She died. Oh. Wah, wah. Thanks for joining us on Yes, We're Adopted. Don't make it weird. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Check us out on social media on the Facebook and the Instagram, because we have things going up on there all the time. Send us your guys' messages if you have questions about anything we discussed today or anything you guys want to see talked about. <sighs> Stay He's healthy out there, San Francisco. supposed to say something. Oh. There's a hard riff. Ra, 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 ra,